the path to net zero. So one of the exciting things about net zero, but also one of the biggest challenges, is that every single sector, every firm, every individual is part of that wider remit. And that means that every firm has to figure out how to get on a greener trajectory. So I'm David Reiner, I'm Professor of Technology Policy here at CJBS, and I'm also Assistant Director of our Energy Policy Research Group. So net zero is this enormous challenge, right? So previously we had this view that we could have an 80% target. And when we had an 80% target, you would talk to firms and 50% of them thought they were in the 20% that didn't have to take action. Now that we have a net zero target, all of a sudden it becomes a fact that every single sector, whether that's aviation or, or trucking or shipping, needs to somehow reconcile themselves to the fact that they need to do something about the problem. And that requires, in many cases, enormous amount of, of technological innovation. If we talk, talk about just the UK context, one of the hardest sectors to do something about is energy intensive um, sector. So heavy industry, manufacturing, chemicals, steel, and so on. Uh, and we've had for the last five years or so, what we call an industrial decarbonization challenge. It's this big effort. Uh, I've been fortunate to help this along on, on the advisory board to it. It's government coming up first with something on the order of maybe 100 million pounds to say, how can we get individual firms, individual facilities to think about what it takes to shift away from their current polluting practices to a cleaner way of manufacturing? And of course, once you do that, companies will look into it and say, oh, this is harder than we thought. Or in some cases, they might say, they might say it's actually easier than we thought. And so that part of this process, you give firms not the funds to do everything that's needed, but at least to kind of reflect and consider how they might get to a net zero trajectory.